we often say that we consume too much, but the truth is that we produce even more. Today's modern factories are amazingly powerful and farming equipment has reached a whole new level. Today, I'm going to show you some of the coolest equipment and machinery. So like this video and let's go. Modern machines are capable of bending metal rods as if they were plant stalks and giving them the most bizarre shapes. Machines are used to sharpen metal edges, but a human is essential for sharpening. Sometimes metal has to be red hot before it can be shaped. This is also done on special equipment. This is how springs with a large diameter are made today. Easy and simple. The precision and speed with which some machines work is astonishing. One, two, that's it. Honestly, I can't even imagine how people used to work with metal without such equipment. Today, the biggest piece of metal can be turned into anything. As you can see, metal is red hot, so even assuming someone had the strength to lift it, no one would be able to touch it. And yet, to this day there are still factories that require a lot of manual work. But in most cases, the human role is limited to checking and troubleshooting equipment when necessary. Modern machines are so precise that even fragile glasses can be moved with little effort. In general, the creation of any glass object is a very entertaining process and is very interesting to watch, especially if the product is made of colored glass. Some machines are capable of doing real artistic work with great precision, but the real artist is the one who created the machine itself. These balloons are perfectly shaped. The machine did all the work. All a person needs to do is to push the balloon at the right moment and it rolls away to other similar ones. A metal tube was red hot and after a couple of seconds, it turned into a spiral. Some factories still use rather rudimentary equipment, but even this machine makes the job a lot easier. As they say, it's cheap and sulfuric. And this is how large parts are shaped. And this is how a machine makes a chain piece by piece. This is how each piece is internally threaded, easy and simple. I don't think you have ever seen a sword blade being hardened. The process is reminiscent of some kind of magical activity. Psst. 
The equipment is simple in appearance, but is very precise and gives the product the required form. In general, it is amazing how precisely modern machines work. It seems to me that no human could do it. Even more astonishing are the capabilities of modern agricultural machinery. Such machines will pick up cabbage from the whole field in two hours. On a special platform, a man separates the big leaves. Then the cabbage is sent to a conveyor belt where four other workers put it into boxes. And the carrots don't even have to be sorted. So one machine operator does all the work himself in a couple of hours. Of course, without this miracle machine, he would never manage it. But another machine operator has to drive the tractor that carries the boxes, and another worker distributes the carrots evenly inside the crate. And this is what the onion harvesting process looks like. Basically, the technology is the same as in the previous two cases, only here, all the work is done by two machine operators without any helpers. Previously, it was thought that only humans could pick tomatoes, as a machine would easily damage this delicate fruit. But nowadays, technology is advanced to the point where even this work can be done by a robot. Of course, it costs a lot, but as a result, it can save farmers money on workers' wages. Imagine how many dairymaids would be needed to milk cows on this farm every day. Today, all that work is done by machines. They not only milk cows in a milking carousel, they also wash udders gently without injuring the animals. This robot is, without exaggeration, a genius invention. It is equipped with solar cells and, on a clear day, it can work for a long time. Its job is to clear the field of weed. Of course, you have to find them first and not damage any cultivated plants, so it's not an easy job. Some people think bananas are harvested by almost savages. Technological progress, meanwhile, has engulfed the world. Although it is still a long way from the technical capacities of Americans and Europeans, banana harvesting is a lot easier than it was 10 years ago. But technology is not always able to help. For example, horse breeders are now faced with a major problem. Some horse breeds are on the verge of extinction because of declining genetic diversity. This is where the science of genetics comes in. Foals must only inseminate mares which are closely related to them. Therefore, the breeders have to use artificial insemination. The stallion, whose semen is to be used, must be the best representative of his breed and must have no health problems whatsoever. After four years, the stallion is replaced by another stallion, so that there are not too many horses from the same father. That's all, dear friends. If you like this video, like, write comments, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, do not forget to click on that bell not to miss new episodes.